Hey guys, I wanted to bring you another video of tonight's Sunday night football game of the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. It was taking place in uh, New Jersey, East Rutherford. And so, this was actually a pretty good game um, for your Sunday night football game uh, for two rivalries. And they, I mean, no matter what the record is, usually with these two teams, it seems like they get the best of each other. And it was very competitive down to the wire. Um, Eli Mang had a good bounce back game from last week. Um, I think most of America just found out who Ordell Beckham Jr. is. Um, I mean, most of us, if you've seen him in college and stuff like that, already knew who he was. Um, I got to see him last week um, since he was televised on Fox with the Giants and the Niners. It's not like you get to see the Giants always televised nationally so it was nice to see that uh Ordell Beckham Jr. did really well and some of those okay I gotta say that one catch and everybody's gonna know if you're watching this video and if you saw the highlights and the actual game what I am talking about that one amazing catch I would say is probably the best catch or okay it, it, so Tony Dungy also brought up the other good point is David Tyree good catch so it's a, now a debate Giants fans or NFL fans which one's the better catch the David Tyree catch or the Odell Beckham Jr. catch to that, tonight um, I gotta say the David Tyree was very lucky and Odell Beckham Jr. takes a lot of skills if you've seen his uh, pregame warm up he does those one hand catches like no other like it's not a problem and he has the big hands he's very athletic um flexible great high, uh, eye coordination everything is is just amazing to see someone like him uh to be able to catch like that it, it it's very gifted like that and, and if he keeps that up it's going to be amazing what type of career he has now if i was eli manning i would keep targeting him and especially he kept getting the one-on-one -on -one coverages that way um, but he did leave a little bit for the game because of a back injury. So um, that's another thing that could be a concern for him if he's going to have that type of career. He needs to be, stay healthy. That's the, also the other problem with the Giants. Victor Cruz, some of the other players, Richard Jennings had some issues staying healthy. If this offense was able to get healthy and be consistent to practice with each other, that could help Eli Manning that way. Also, the other thing is, They've implemented this new offense pretty much for Eli, so it's very difficult to pick up. I mean, if you saw um, anybody that starts with a new offensive coordinator, it's very difficult to pick up sometimes. So that's another thing that you have to consider. But the thing tonight's game was amazing. Tony Romo had a good game. Now, it is almost, um, I'm going to make sure, next week is the last day of November and what does that mean guys it's December next month and why do I bring this up Dallas is fighting against uh, Philadelphia Eagles for the NFC East and the thing is in December historically for Tony Romo and the Dallas Cowboys they have that collapse and are they going to have one of those collapses again that's the thing that you want to see with the Dallas Cowboys for next month and I they play Thursday for Thanksgiving short term round so there's going to be a lot of uh, interesting moving parts coming down the end of November and I, I, I it, it just made a great game for tonight to see these storylines coming and building up because Dallas Cowboys could not afford to lose this game they're undefeated right now on the road. So it will be interesting to see how they close out for December. And if they're going to finish off with that lead, they could still have home field advantage. That's the other thing. And, and the other thing interesting with this tonight's game, how much the Giants fans were fed up um, because it sounded like there was a lot of Dallas Cowboys fans on the television. And I don't know if, if I was the only one that heard that too. So... It will be interesting 
um, because in Dallas, you could hear more of the uh, visiting team fans, like the Niners, I heard. Um, I forget who else the Cowboys played t uh, nationally this year. But when I ca caught the games, you could hear the fans in Dallas were mostly the away teams. And then tonight's game was kind of unusual. You had more of the Dallas Cowboy fans there at uh, MetLife Stadium. So that's some of the things I caught. Good game towards the end. Uh, it, it was a good game overall. And we'll see uh, how things turns out next couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully you like this video. Go ahead and share. And uh, like, subscribe, comment. And go ahead and please subscribe so you can uh, help support this channel so we can continue provide more videos. You can see that we've done a lot of NFL videos. Thanks.